Hello, this is Paul from Force Attack. In this lecture, we are going to deal with the application for the integration by parts method. So we're going to prove a reduction formulas. And here's the summary for reduction formulas. And uh, let's look at this example. If I n means uh, integration and they link it to n, usually n is a power inside the integral function. See, we look at this formula, reduction, what we can do. And we will reduce the power, okay, it goes to n minus 1. And usually we also call the recurrence relation. We already know, right? And if we move one more step, and then n minus 1 can reduce to n minus 2, da, 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 moves on. And then the power when goes down, in the final level goes to like a 0 or 1's power. And then we get everything down. So now, question. Uh, later, I'll have an example, okay, so you will understand this better, okay. Um, here, so how to reduce? We have a, a basic uh, rule as by integration by parts, how to set up a u, okay, the purpose, of course. We set up a u so that the du can reduce the exponent, okay, so this is how we can do by setting up a u, and then later we will see. So look at a... Uh, Again, for reduction formula, I'll give one more example here. Uh, if I said the real integration, can we see this? I n is an integration, so can we see the power n? Exactly, is inside the integral, right? Can we exactly find uh, explicit formula for this? Okay, so look, it's not easy, right? However, we have, okay, we have a recurrence relation, so like this reduction formula, so. What's the reduction formula? I n equals this minus n times i minus 1. So what is i minus 1? Can we see? i minus 1, the power reduced, right? Reduced to minus 1. And this we call the reduction, okay? If we move on step by step, I'll give you an example here. Look at it. Uh, if at the beginning we're going to find the i 100, which means the power is 100, right? And we can reduce. We can reduce the power. So if you follow the formula, is a uh, I guess 100, uh, and then this is uh, 100 i 99. And so we look at it, this uh, original is 100, and now it's good to 99. It's better, right? Reduce 1. Can we reduce, can we continue to reduce the power? Yes, okay. If this is 99, can we see? This is 99, okay. 99, we use this formula, we can get this reduction. Re reduce to what? Reduce to 98. Okay, reduced to 98. If we simplify, okay, so if we do, um, we do distributive and then simplify, finally we will get what? Can we see? And the I100 can go to reduce to I98, means the power goes to 98. And then we can continue, right? Goes to 97, 96, and then finally we can go to like a 1. If we're going to 1, or we're going to 0, that's easy to find, right? I0, we already know. Okay, and here, uh, this is just an example. We are going to prove now in the next example. I look at the example. That's exactly what we should, right? Remember, just we say, this is I n. So this is what? This is I n minus 1, right? The power goes reduce the 1. Uh, how to find this? How to prove? So can we see? Of course, we need to set up, right? So we need to set up a u so that the du reduce the power. Reduce the power to n minus 1. We have to set up a u. Definitely, we need to set up this is a u, right? Because we have to set up uh, this is a u. Why? Because du take a derivative goes, the power goes down to n minus 1. This is the power function. Okay, and they've set up uh, this is a u, so, and uh, this remain part uh, should be goes to what? Goes to dv, right? Okay, good. And then I will move on using the integration by parts, okay, so to do calculation from the left side. So what is a u, what is du now? Going to find du, uh, i put it here. So du, this take a derivative, should it be n? times x m minus 1 and uh, dx, right? Good. 
So what is V? We can find V. V is just the anti-divided z x, right? Okay. So now I will just uh, copy the integration by part formula, okay? And then we can go into do the calculation. So what is our formula? Our formula is this: u d v equals u times v minus integration v d u. Okay, so this is the formula, right? This is just the integration by parts. This is integration by parts. So we plug everything into this formula. And we hope we can get these results. And we're going to try. So now we plug the left. Of course, it's exactly the same as before. Xn, this is u. And the e x d x this is dv. Okay, equals u is uh, x raised to the nth power. Uh, v is uh, e raised to the x power, and then minus integration. V is x raised to the du is this big uh, longer one. Okay, n x n minus one, and the x. Okay, so we look at this formula. It's almost why because we can see the power is already reduced one. See, if you set up a good, it's easy to reduce the power. And then now we just simplify. So this is x n e raised to the x power minus this n we factored out is n here integration. Um, so we we try to get exactly the same. See we look at it, almost the same, right? Except uh, we switch we switch these two terms. If we switch, we can exactly get it, that one. So after we switched here is I guess raised to the m minus 1 power times e raised to the x power and the dx. Can you see? And this one is the right size and this is the left size. Definitely we proved, right? Okay, so we proved this. Uh, this is the first uh, reduction formula we learned here, okay? And in the future if we make this kind of calculation, so you can directly use the formula. I'll look at one more. And this uh, is reduction formula first. Is this reduction formula? Uh, first, uh, we have a power inside the integration, right? If I say the power n, right? The general power, if I say this is i n, how about the, this function is OK. So about this? This is another integration. This is still linked to i, right? However, the power reduced to n minus 1. OK, this is better. So that means, uh, n go to n minus 1, go to n minus 4, go to n minus 6, like this, right? It's easy to reduce all the powers. Uh, now we're going to prove. <laughs> How to prove? Here we have a little special for you, okay? So we look at this, it's only one function, okay? And this is special here, tips. We're going to do this. We're going to break this. We're going to break this function, okay? Let me see. If I break this function, this goes to here. Break into this. Can you see? m minus 1 x times uh, sine x dx. Can you see what we are going to break? The nth power is uh, minus power times 1's power, right? Because break it down into this. In this way, we can do what? We can do set up. So here is u. If I said it, this is u, so this one is dv. We are going to use integration by parts. And uh, why we do this? Because in this way, v we can solve. v is a negative cosine, right? And this we take a derivative. Okay, definitely, we can go down of the power. Okay, no problem. And then I we'll follow just a two calculation. I need to get what is du, right? Okay, so du is a little bit longer. I'll get here. Du is this. Uh, this is the chain rule, okay? So the inner function is a sign. Okay, so like t is a sign. Take the value to t first. So the power. So m minus 1, the power laid down. And then the power decrease. No, sorry. The power decrease 1, so it goes to 2. And then we need to times, of course, the divided of the inner is a sine, right? Divided of sine is a cosine. What time is a cosine? 
x and then uh, dx. Can you see? This is du. This is a composite function, a uh, chain rule we use. So what is dv? v is here. Can we solve for v? Definitely. And the v is the entire divided of sine, which is a negative cosine x. Now we set up everything, right? Um, I copy the formula here so you can see. I use this. I copy the integration by positive formula. So u dv is uh, uv minus v du, right? Okay, so we need to use this. And if we use this, we can find, we move to that one by one. Okay, let me see. Okay, that one I put it here. What is that function? We use this. Okay, definitely we use this. So what do we all get? This is u dv, right? u dv equals u times v. Uh, where's the u? u is that. Okay, so I put here u is a sine m minus 1x. This is u. Where's v? v is there. So times a negative cosine x. Okay, and then minus, then minus. Integration v is a negative cosine x. du. The u is t here, a longer one. Don't worry, okay. Just copy. And the sine with the power minus 2x, uh, cosine x, and dx. Uh, almost, okay. This is done. Don't worry, it's a function. Uh, here is a complicated. Can we go to simplify negative and negative make it positive? Okay, I will write here. And these are changed the order. So it's negative cosine times sine m minus 1x. Okay, what I wrote here is very similar with that. Okay, it's good. Negative, negative makes a positive. And the plus how many? These are constant number factored out. m minus 1. The inside, uh, let me see, write here. Uh, I will take a sine goes first. Sine is to n, sorry, okay, it's not a derivative, okay, it's just a power, n minus is power, and then it's a cosine, and the cosine, which is more the, the cosine square, right, okay, good. Uh, look is complicated, but don't worry, so we almost, why, because this we have a Pythagorean, and uh, see, this one, we have a Pythagorean, cosine square, is a 1 minus a sine square, right? Remember, Pythagorean, the most famous. And then plug this in, and then break it into two integration. Can we? Yes, we're going to. So what do we have? Negative, I just copy, okay? Uh, M minus 1x, right? And then here is a plus. Um, m minus 1. So I skip one step. This plug in, break it down, and the 1 is this times 1, right? Okay. So it's uh, sine m minus 2x dx. Okay. Another term is uh, this term times this term. Negative minus 2 power plus 2 power goes to nth power. Okay. Goes to nth power. Uh, but this is negative, means uh, we have to minus m minus 1 times steer m minus 1 times integration I said that the power goes to 2 uh, goes to n right so I put it here x dx have we get something this is very similar to this this already reduced the power to m minus 2 this is a function no problem how about this complicated don't worry see can we look at this term and at the beginning, this is exactly just the i n, right? Can we see this? This is just the i n. Okay. Uh, now we get the equation. i n equals this big term, or oh, this is just the big function, and the minus i n kind of i n. Um, I wrote. Uh, I will not wrote. So I just uh, wrote i n here. It's simply okay. Can we see this? Uh, I n equals this bigger term minus n minus 1 times I n. What do you mean? We can solve this. We can solve 
this equation for i n right okay so I directly now we just absorb uh, I say that the above equation for what we need we need the i n see i n here i n the left sides plus this to the left what do we have n minus 1 plus 1 is n and then divided by n both sides divided by n that's what we can get so we finally will get i n is this uh, of course i copy the definition i n is integration and this complicated integration however we already find this divided by n right so it's negative 1 over n cosine x sine m minus 1 to the power and then plus this divided by n which means m minus 1 divided by n and then integration this is a sine m minus 2 x dx okay can we compare this to the original question i n is i n equals the first term the second term exactly the same also we can see what's this this is equal to i m minus 2 right is a power reducing from i n to from i n goes to i n minus 2 see and uh, that's all thank you